I'll never forget when I was taking my two young boys through a hunter safety course and the instructor drilled into our minds that a safety is a mechanical device that can and will fail. Hi there, welcome to The Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Hey, before the video gets going, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and punch the notification bell. We have brand new videos three times per week, 52 weeks per year. And make sure you head on over to our blog site, thebassfishinglife.com. Thank you so very much. Well, that instructor really, really put that into our heads. And I'll tell you what, it's something I have never ever forgotten and it applies to bass fishing as well. As a matter of fact just yesterday I was going to head out on the lake and get all kinds of footage to share with you guys out there and I put the trolling motor in the water less than two years old still under warranty nothing would not work whatsoever. So then I got to thinking you know what it wouldn't be bad to go over some of the items that I keep with me all the time because when you're on the water in your boat, I don't care if it's brand new or 20 years old, mechanical devices are going to fail at some point in time. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today, the items that have helped me the most. Now I'm not gonna go over an entire toolbox worth of stuff. We all know that we should have, you know, some socket sets and your different screwdrivers, those types of things. But I'm gonna go over specifically the items that you want to keep in your tool kit because you're going to use them all the time. The first one that I wanna go over, and I've run across lots of anglers that do not have one of these in their boat, is a canoe paddle. Now I know you're thinking, holy cow, I would need a canoe paddle if I've got the big motor, it fails, I got the trolling motor, if the trolling motor fails, I got the big motor. I have used a canoe paddle a bunch and I have actually two of them in my boat all the time. And of course, if both the trolling motor and big motor fail, you can use it to motivate yourself. But where I use it more often than not is when one of those fails and I need something quickly to keep my boat from ramming up into riprap or getting into a position where things are gonna go south really, really quickly. So having one, if not two canoe paddles is something I promise that you are going to use. The next item that is absolutely critical, and it doesn't have to be a brand new pair, and as you can see from here, these are very, very old, and that is jumper cables. Every single angler needs to have jumper cables in their boat, and I don't use them often, but they have really got me out of some tough situations. And one that I will never forget, I was heading down to a tournament on Beaver Lake in uh, Rogers, Arkansas, and the alternator started to phase out on my truck and eventually I lost power and I had to pull over to the side of the road. I was able to take a battery out of my boat and jump my truck and get it going just enough where I could get off the side of the interstate and all the way to the hotel. So those jumper cables come in extremely handy when it's 10, 11 o'clock at night, you're stuck on the side of the interstate and that's just not a good place to be. So make sure you've got a pair of jumper cables with you, so very important. The next item that you're going to use all the time is some sort of knife. Make sure that you have got a knife with you. A uh, matter of fact, a lot of survival shows, when somebody goes off into the wilderness, the only tool that they'll take in some of these competition shows is a knife. It's probably the single most important tool that you could have. You can do a lot of things with a knife, so make sure you've got one of those in your boat. And then everything I, else that I have here has to do with electrical systems. Electrical failures in a boat happen way more often than we want them to, and they are extremely frustrating. So everything else that I'm going to show you has to do with electrical 
situations you may run across. Um, of course, make sure you've got yourself a good electrical kit that's got the pliers, the crimpers, and then your different spade um, heads and stuff like that so you can rewire electrical stuff in your boat. Of course, the electrical tape is a big one. I always keep a couple extra spools of wire with me and not only can I rewire stuff in the boat if needed, I also keep a spool worth of wire because if I had to, I could use it very similar to baling wire and, and lash and tie things together. I've had used baling wire to hold a piece on a trailer before until I can get off and get some help off the side of the road. So having extra wire is really important, a good amount of it. Um, this right here has made a big difference for me. This is just a piece of emery cloth where you can clean off contacts. Okay, sometimes battery terminals get corroded or the trolling motor plug gets corroded. So having that emery cloth is something that you will use a whole bunch. And this right here, I can't even tell you how many times I use a voltage tester. I use it all the time and what's so nice about this is it can narrow down the part of the electrical system that is failing. For example, yesterday with my trolling motor, first thing that I did was of course check the breaker in the back to see if that had been tripped or popped, but then I took this voltage tester all the way to the plug in the front and I knew I had power all the way up to there so the problem was somewhere within the trolling motor pedal or the head itself so a voltage tester is something that you're going to use all the time and make sure that you've got your different fuses as well because this can really narrow down um, some sort of electrical situation so and if you're not sure how to use a voltage tester spend a few minutes with it it's got um, your AC, your DC, and then also very important on here, it has an ohms test where you can see if there's a break in the wire. So you could put these leads on either end of a wire and see if it has continuity through it. So you can check to see if there's any breaks in the system. So a voltage tester is critically important. And when all else fails, you need one of these. You may be thinking, what has he got? in the bag it's a toe strap i am shocked how many times i've been on waters all across the country and i've run across other boats that are in distress they've had some sort of failure and they did not have a toe strap with them well i'm glad that i did because i was able to get them to the closest marina or get them back to the boat ramp uh, but a tow strap, a proper tow strap that's meant for towing boats um, is going to have some really nice clips on it and it's also going to be long enough where the boats can stay a safe distance apart as you're towing them. So all your good marine dealers are going to have tow straps. So when in doubt, when everything else fails, you want to make sure that you have got a tow strap with you. Well, I know this wasn't the most exciting as far as some different tips and techniques, but I wasn't able to get out on the water yesterday. So I just wanted to cover some of the things that could really, really help you out if stuff happens to fail, because you know that mechanical devices can and will fail. Hey, make sure that you go out and encourage someone today because you never know what a difference you're going to make in their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.